In the letter to the Romans, we hear St. Paul say, the kingdom of God is not a matter of eating or drinking, but of righteousness and peace and joy in the power of the Holy Spirit. In the scriptures this week, we hear about the kingdom of God. And oftentimes we can ask ourselves, what is it that the Lord is talking about? We forget that in the Lord's preaching, most of what he spoke of was not about himself directly, but the task the Father had given him to come to inaugurate his kingdom. For the kingdom is the restoration of all things as they are meant to be in the eyes of God. It is the restoration of the harmony, peace, joy, and love that was and still is our destiny in Christ. The kingdom is what the Lord wants from us. And in heaven, that kingdom will be realized in its fullness. In fact, my friends, Jesus came as the inaugurator of the kingdom. By his death and his resurrection, he's conquered sin and death, the consequences of the sin we inherited from our first parents, and all the after effect that has caused so much of the world to be disfigured. So the kingdom is not just something that is in the future, but we see seeds of it right here and now because Christ is alive here and now. His spirit dwells here and now in you and me and us and in the world. Part of discipleship is to help cooperate with Christ's grace to bring the kingdom further into view, to help it to unfold ever more greatly and profoundly in our midst. You may say, well, how does that happen? It won't happen with any trumpet blast or any great announcement, but it happens in quiet ways, in every act of mercy, in every act of patience. Every time you and I have had the grace to forgive from the heart, when we've loved without expecting something in return, when we have been the hands and feet and heart of Jesus in the world, we have helped to bring the kingdom of God forward. And I want you to consider, my friends, in a world which is becoming more hostile, more divided, in a world that is becoming less merciful, less accepting, in a world which is motivated by money and authority and control over one another. The kingdom of God is needed now more than ever. Its signs and its presence need to inbreak now more than ever. And Christ is inviting you and me to be those seeds that he will use to show the world that the kingdom is still alive and is still growing and that one day you and I having gone through the mystery of death, may take our place in it fully and completely in the glory of heaven.